all right so it's been a while since I uploaded um, some 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 tutorial um, so this video we're gonna play with code code bin that I owe we're gonna build some carousel uh, we're gonna build a carousel so a carousel in JavaScript so kids this is for you we are gonna do uh, scss save it and we're gonna use typescript all right so let's begin so we want to have our carousel should we have a figma for this no we don't need figma so we want to have a carousel so we have we should have a left and right arrow then we have some banners here like images and descriptions or, any, or anything and then we want to have like indicators which are, which slides are active and how many slides does our carousel have okay so start um so this is going to be our carousel carousel holder okay so we have our carousel holder and then here um, is our we want to have our carousel frame so this frame is going to hold our like the slides and then we're going to have our carousel itself and a carousel has um, slides to it so slide one slide two slide we want to have at least five slides so each slide will have a dev on it or an image or yeah so let's try to do that uh, slide here slide two um, slide three and slide four and slide five okay yeah we have that uh, we want to hide the JavaScript or TypeScript side first uh, okay so we have our carousel holder we're gonna put a um, we're gonna put um, some style on it so that so that will be visible to us so we're gonna put border 1px solid red okay so there there it is our carousel holder and then inside it is our carousel carousel frame carousel frames so or carousel frame will be 300 px by 200 or no maybe 150 px uh, and then um, we want to put a border here also so that um, it's easy to visualize so screen and then solid that that is our carousel frame and then um, we want to have we will put our carousel here and so this is our carousel itself carousel so that is gonna hold the slides so slide is there okay so that's it and Okay, so let's begin with the display how to display the slides. So um, in our carousel, we want to display it as flex, and then each of our slide will uh, be a f have flex shrink of zero, meaning they will not shrink. So they're width is gonna be 300px 
then their height is same with our um, carousel frame, which is 150px. And then we're going to put an outline here. Outline our slide uh, 2px solid and um, what color will that be? Purple. Okay, let's put purple here. Okay, so that is our slide. And then we want to... Um, so this is our carousel frame here. So this is our carousel frame. We want to add a buttons here on on the side of the carousel frame. So we want to add here, it's gonna be, this is gonna be the left button here. And this one here is also the um, right button. Okay, and we can just use a slide. Uh, we can just use a div there. Okay, so we have our, we want to, this frame here, we want to hide the overflow. So overflow um, should be hidden. That will hide the, uh, the rest of the slides and here um, the dev okay so the dev here so for the dev inside the carousel holder dev and that's going to be the first child um, should have a width of 25 maybe 25 px is it working border um, um, with no we want to yeah we want to display them as flex um, display flex here and then um, dev last child with is 25 px um let's have a background color of yellow and this one here background color of yellow also and the last child Where would you go now? Long ago, I was thinking out loud. So suddenly, the to judge you now. The so the carousel frame, we want to put the background also here. Background color, um, orange. And hmm. Mm hmm. first child then the last child here <laughs> yeah I'll just uh, I'll just put the left and right here left and right and then this one here would be dot left we're running out of time dot right there okay and inside both of them they have left button here would be with is 25 px height is 25 25 px here and then our right here okay and then we're going to background green here and then this one here will also be background green and then this one here will be we want to put it on 
center on this be display flex then align item center that we put it on the center same goes to our right and that will also align it okay so this is our left button this is our right button we want to have indicators here so if we have four or five we have five sides so we're gonna have five indicators here as well so that is gonna be um, yeah we're gonna add them manually here for now okay so holder um, yeah we want to have the class in indicators then here class indicator one two three four five so we have indicators and then we have indicator <sighs> so that is outside of this carousel holder they are siblings so this is indicators here and then this is indicator um, the width here is going to be um, maybe 20px height is 20px background is our orange red and then we're going to have a border radius here of um, 10 maybe 10 px so that will be circle and then this one here is gonna be a display flex and then um, we're going to justify contents contents to cen center is there a justify content center Justify content center. Okay. And then it's with, um, yeah, we are, so for this one here, we are also going to justify content center here so that it will put it on the center. No? Let's justify content. Justify con it center. All right, okay. And then we we were we want to put a cap. We want to put a cap here. Cap is equal to two px maybe or maybe five px. Uh, maybe five px so that that was gonna be very visible. Then margin top is gonna to be five px as well. All right, so the active for the indicator that is active and um, no. so hold on. So for indicator that is active, background color should be red. And then if we put active here, that should turn into red, right? Yeah. Um, let's make this into gold. Okay, so that's it, it's active. Okay, now we want to, we want to use images and splash. All right, so let's use this one, then use, use this one, and use this one. We need, we needed five. This one, then this one. All right, so it's five. We want to use this, so. 
we will put them in our carousel um, we want to add an MIG here image oops paste the thing there and then copy that one uh, this is the second one paste that thing here third one Paste that thing there. The fourth one. Paste that thing there. And the last one is this one. Okay. So that's it. Um, we already have that. And now we want to add interactivity in this one. So this is the time we're going to um, use JavaScript. Okay, so we want to get hold of our um, our carousel. So we do have a const here, carousel document that get elements by class name carousel zero so that is our carousel and then um, we want to get hold of our left and right button left button at the end is equal to document document dot, dot get elements by class name so that's the BNT. And then the other one would be right button, right BNT here. What else we need? We want to get hold of our um, indicators. So we have our indicator, we want to have interactivity there. So that is the indicator. So here is also the indicators. Okay, and then we want to add interactivity. So let's first add interactivity to our indicators. So um, say for let um, const. Do we need const? No. So let let i is equals to zero. I uh, is lesser than indicators dot length then I plus plus so that is where we are gonna add a functionality to our indicators so let's add add event listener here then when we click that we want to execute some thing here okay so we want to hey is there something wrong why is it lost now hey what did i do console add event listener add event listener okay Okay, so we want to get hold of our carousel. We have a, okay, we have a control here. So once we click that, um, we want to carousel that animate animate our carousel, and the duration is maybe around three uh, three thousand or three hundred maybe three hundred. Uh, so we want to move here our carousel from. If we click this, we want to move to to the, the side, like push the translate x backward, uh, negative backwards. So that is gonna be transform translate x. Um, we try the zero px first, and then next is gonna to be. 300 because that is the width of our um, our carousel 300 
Okay, and then um, after that, we're going to carousel, carousel, maintain the style transform. Was to translate x is equals to 300 px. Oh, that is going to be negative, negative 300 px. Okay, so we, and I click this. See it move. All right, it move. Okay, so now we want to make it dynamic. Um, so we want to. We want to. Um. Store here. So Going to span. Let's do three three hundred. And then that is going to be, um, we're going to put here const or maybe let move um, i times span. So that is going to be here. Plus plus here and then move. So that means if we click here, this is two. Oh uh, no, this is one. One times three hundred. So that is gonna be three hundred. Uh, but next time, if we press here, uh, two. So two times span three hundred is gonna to be six hundred. So it's gonna move six hundred instead of three hundred. So we're going to display the third slide instead of the second slide. Okay, so gonna do that. And then this one here is not going to always be zero. We're going to store some previous value. So we're gonna do that here. Previous PR PRV for previous is gonna be zero. Then we're gonna display here PRV that is going to be zero. But then here the the move will be assigned to PRV so that. Um, when the PR, uh, when the move here is 300 and this one is zero, uh, zero, it will assign 300 here. So next time we move, the, th the PRV is now has a value of 300 instead of zero. And then this move here was going to be 600. Okay, so uh, if we click this one here, it's move there and here, move there. Um, I don't know why. Oh yeah, because we have to change this one here also to the move. Okay, so here, here, here. Okay, click, click. Okay, that's it. Uh -huh. Okay, and then um, we want to show the active, the active indicator. So. Um, is it going to be easy? We have to save this one first. Um, we want to add active. So, so currently this one here is active. So what, which, which indicator we are going to remove the active and then re-add it to the current indicator. So how do we do that? Um, okay, so indicator so it's going to be indicators i maybe indicators i that's the other uh, class list that remove active Um, maybe every time we active, remove active. Mm. So the current, the current here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe we have to do that separate function. 
Okay, so let's do that separate function. I get clear, clear active. It's going to be a function. So uh, it's like this. So indicators. Class list that uh, remove active. Maybe that will work. Let's check. Um, so every time they click, the active will be remove it. Okay, and then we're going to re add. We're going to re add active to whatever is the current one. So here add active okay hope it works okay here all right it works and then we want to make use of the left and right here so um hope it's going to be easy um okay we're going to have um add active we're going to have a uh, add event listener here and click this one and then the right button here like that. So we are going to um clear the active here so if we click here if we click uh no uh what happened it's not a function left button Really? Add event listener. Add event listener. Add event listener. Okay, sorry for that. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So now. Ready. Okay. Okay. So now we want to have a maybe another function called update display. So here we have clear active. Now we're going to add a update slides or maybe move slide so move slide okay so move slide is going to um yeah we're going to call move slide here uh move slide 
left then here move slide right so here um, this is going to be direction it's a string and we, we first want to display the direction here okay so let's uh, this is going to display right right then here left left okay and now we want to current current index we want to have a current index um yeah let current index is equals to zero and and um yeah move slide so the indicators here the indicators like that uh, when we move side we want to add add that uh, using the current index and we want to move this up here okay here like that oops that like that like that like that did it work um move slide indicators ah uh, yeah um that's going to be if dir is equals to left um current index minus minus else current index plus plus okay okay up here um we want to display oh yeah here 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 okay yep it works um what happened here can i treat it and find class list what's going on um here yeah um yeah if we we're gonna put here um if current index is lesser than zero we're going to set current index to zero else current index is um either and I put another if current index is greater than um and indicators dot let this is the correct spelling minus one um that is going to be current index equals to like that okay so let's try all right Um, what is this? Indicators, what is the spelling of length? Yeah, it's correct.
I don't wanna wait for the lives to be over. I want to know it now. Um, let's display the current uh, indicators at length. Console log. That is going to be five. That should be five. I don't wanna wait for the lives to be over. One, yeah, five. And the current index. Zero, one, two, four, four. If it's greater than length minus one, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, we should do that here. Um, we should do that here. Okay. Do that, do that, do that, do Okay, do that here, okay. Da 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 one, two, three, four. Na 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 then na 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 okay. So now our pro our our only the only thing that we need to do now is um move the slide according to to the index here so um yeah we clear um yeah we need we just need to animate this one like this here um like that so instead of i we just need to use the current index and yeah and the previews and the previous, do we need a previous? Yeah, we need a previous. Previous is now this. Oops. Okay, so I think that's it. All right. All right, all right, all right. Here, 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 here. All right. So that's it. That's it, peeps. That's a car how to create a carousel. Um, you know, we can make this a lot cleaner, like this one here. We can move this into a, uh, a separate function so that we can reuse this. Um, do I want to do it now? Um, yeah, we can do it. We can do it now. Okay, so here, cons execute move or something like that and then here is the index and then the, that is going to be a number and then we are going to put this here and then we're going to call uh we're going to first put it here and then um we're going to call execute then here's the current index and then that's it so the index here is the index um, and then here we're now gonna replace this one here with this one and then instead of current index we're gonna put i here there okay so here see it's still working and this one here is also still working all right yeah that's it so yeah 
hope hope you enjoy and hope you will subscribe you pieces of uh, okay okay never mind just subscribe please i'm having fatty liver because of these things and i need really need your help to so that i can fix my fatty liver please all right thanks bye